Welcome back everyone to Data Science for Everyone. Today we're going to be looking at interactive 2D plots with financial data. Let's get started. So first off, we're going to go on and get some basic imports in. So let's import pandas as pd. Let's import numpy as np. And let's import plotly express as px. So uh, for those of you that don't know, plotly express is um, an interactive uh, plotting library. All right, and it's going to be great for us to make some very quick um, interactive plots. So first off, let's go on and maybe make up some data. So, so let's do np.random.seed here, and let's set it to 42. And then let's go on and make some um, random data in here. So np random dot uh, standard normal and let's make like um, I don't know let's do 500 periods by five uh, and let's do dot uh, cumulative sum here axis is equal to zero so this is going to make our um, kind of some stock type data some little bit of random walk uh, let's make an index here of pd dot date range, and let's say that we want this from let's say twenty twenty dash one dash one. Um, we want this frequency not frozen. We want frequency here to be um, by business days, uh, and then the number of periods here will be the length of day. Um, and then let's go on and um, actually let's go on and run that and then let's go on and make a data frame here and do something like um, I don't know uh, PD dot uh, oh, not data. We want data frame uh, and we want something like 100 let's do plus 5 multiplied by our A um, and let's do our columns here Let's go and just make it a list of something like A, B, C, D, E. Um, and then our index, again, is going to be our index. We can take a look here. And now you can see that we basically have, let's just call this some A, B, C uh, stock data here. Uh, so again, let me move that over there. So again, we have our A, B, C, D, E stock data. And then here we have um, an index here of our uh, dates. Okay, and again, you can see here it starts, we're just we're just doing them daily for now. Uh, you, we can even change the frequency later on if we want to do them for anything else. But this is a great way to kind of see what we want to accomplish with this. Now, the best thing in the world is that this is super fast. So let's do something like a fig dot, uh, figure is equal to px dot line deact fig dot go. Let's run that, and bam! Now we have our interactive graph. Now is this not cool? So we instantly can look at our uh, variable e. Our index is our date, and then our value is our uh, the actual stock value here. Now notice we can. Uh, interact with each of them. We can go over here and we can even turn off several of these and it will automatically kind of re-scale uh, everything for you. Uh, we can also go on and reset things. We can also zoom in on said data. And again, notice this is, this is uh, again, so you could just basically import your data here and then in basically one line of code, okay, you can have an interactive plot. So let's go on and maybe say that we want to do something else. Okay, so this is great. This is this gives us some line uh, graphs. But let's say that we also maybe want to do a histogram. So the big thing that we need here, so if I do DF head again and we look, something that we need to change here when we deal with um, the histogram function, we want to take all of these and we're going to make like a uh, just just a single line, okay? For these, we're going to use the melt function, 
okay, with pandas in order to get this. So we want two variables. We want a stock. We want to grab all the stocks, and then we want to put all the variables in a, a single column as well. Okay, so let's go on and do that. So to do this, we do df, and I'm just going to call this um, melt for the melted data frame, pd.melt, our data frame, and then we want var name here is equal to stock, um, and value name here is equal to, let's say, uh, price. Okay, and so if we take a look now at that data set, and we run this notice now we have each of our stocks and we have our prices so this is going to be great for us when we want to do the histograms because now we can go through and do something like um let's do a figure here is going to be px dot histogram uh, df melt uh let's do a facet here of stock a uh, facet column wrap um, and we only want two per each because when we only have five here and let's also give it some color for each um, stock okay and then we'll do fig dot show run this and now we have an interactive graphic with our stock data and our histograms okay because then we can see our values we can even go through and we can turn off the stocks but notice it doesn't re um, reevaluate a couple other things that we may like to add in later on. Notice they are all kind of in this same um, value range. Okay, they're all in this uh, value range. We go to the kind of the max value range. One thing that we may want to do maybe in a future episode is to go on and um, make it so that they each have their own lines. Okay, each of them have their own x axis. But again, this is still very nice and very useful to do very quick. Because notice here we've done. Um, all the histograms, we've done some line plots, and only basically two, three lines of code. Um, so I'm going to leave this here. The next episode, we'll probably be doing some candlestick plots interactively. If you like this, please comment, subscribe, and hit that like button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.